Scan and send. File. And scan and send using file can be used to send electronic documents to different locations using different standard office formats. We use protocols such as FTP, Windows of SMB, or WebDAV to send the information. We have standard file formats such as JPEG, PDF, TIFF, XPS, or OOXML in either PowerPoint or Word doc format. The file locations can be saved as a one-touch number or in the local address book. When sending to a network share, be it a workstation or a server, users must have the ability to write to that share. This example will be using Windows SMB and demonstrating how to configure a shared folder on a Windows 10 workstation. Right-click in the area you wish to create the shared folder. This example is showing the desktop. You can also create the folder on the root drive if you wanted to. Select New and Folder. Give the folder a name. Try and keep it short and simple. Right-click on the folder and select Share with Advanced Sharing. Well, what happens if you don't see that? Type folder in the search window and select File Explorer Options or select Folder Options with Windows 7. Select the View tab and scroll down in Advanced Settings then uncheck the box for Use Sharing Wizard Recommended and press Apply. Right-click on the folder and select Share With Advanced Sharing. Select the Sharing tab and press Advanced Sharing. Check the box for Share This Folder and give the shared folder a name. It can be the same name, but should be something easily recognizable on the network. Press Permissions. With the Users Everyone highlighted, check the box Full Control and then press Apply. Select the Security tab and confirm the user or group has access to write into the folder. Change the permissions by Add the Users by selecting Edit. Close when complete. Send to a shared folder. From the Control Panel, select Scan and Send. Select New Destination. Select File. With the protocol set to SMB, select Browse. Select your workstation where the network share is located. Enter the username and password that has access to the network share. Select the network share folder and press OK. You can see the network share path has been populated. The username and the username password. Select PDF Compact and you can see the standard file formats that are available for sending. These are some of the default features that are available. And these are some others that require licenses. Select Options and go to the second page and select File Name. You can create a file name for the scan with a default file name with the timestamp onto it. You can remove the date and job from the file name so only the file name is left. But you can also overwrite the files with the same name. Note that there is no warnings when overwriting happens. Place the originals in the feeder and press the Start button. The pages are scanned and sent. 
and select to status monitor. And here you can see the job is successful by the OK result. You can register the destination as an address, as part of an address book or a one-touch number. You can create a name for the address, and the address list it belongs to, and you can confirm the information is correct. You can also check the con connection on it. So what happens when somebody says, my scans didn't go through? How can we figure this out? Well, we're going to do a demonstration scanning with the purposely wrong settings. So you can see it's wrong, and there's a result of no good, NG. Usually there's some sort of error code describing the problem. If we select details of that job, in this case here we can see the username and password are incorrect, and this user has no access to the network share. When we look at it, there's a no file name applied, so it's just a standard timestamp. Here we have a file name with the timestamp, and then with the third setting, only the file name is applied.